Out of a million different journeys we make in life, there's one that none of us can avoid. It doesn't matter who you are, rich or poor, young or old, one day the Grim Reaper's going to come a-calling. And I guess bikers are more aware of this than most. But up until now, their needs have been pretty much ignored. Well, this East Midlands cleric wants to change all that. He's Reverend Paul Sinclair, and he's built the world's first totally enclosed motorcycle hearse. I've been thinking about doing this for a good while, for two or three years. And then on March 2001, I was involved in a, a very serious crash. I had multiple injuries. My arm got snapped here and twisted round through my wrist. And I, I was lying in a hospital thinking, I nearly got killed there. And the last time anyone would ever have seen me, we would have been in the back of a Volvo. That can't be right. Since our house has been built, the response has been just fabulous. It, it's quite an amazing experience just riding it down the road. People put their thumbs up out of vans, people are waving to you. Some people laugh, but on the whole, folk really, they, they really like it. And a lot of people come up and say it's about time. And they're amazed that, that no one's done it here before. So how do you turn an ordinary motorcycle into the ultimate dispatch bike? As you can see, this is a perfectly normal house. It has all the regular fittings, and it can, in fact, hold a seven-foot coffin. But I've figured out a way to get a slightly bigger one in if I have to. It lights up, which is ideal at night, and there's plenty of room on the top for a floral tribute. Now, the other thing that's very useful is, unlike a normal house, which is part of a car, or behind a horse, and very high, this one's very low. So I've put a window roof in it, and that enables people to see the floral tributes and read the tributes on top that are written and what I find lovely and I never expected this is people are quite often stand here just like this and they're completely relaxed they maybe pray they maybe chat to the, the deceased or the you know I've seen them pat the window also so it just helps them express themselves huge big windows on the side on the top and at the front floods it with light but also enables you to see the bike at all times and finally i would point out because it's built on a sidecar chassis which is like a triangle and that means it's incredibly good maneuverability so when you're out on a funeral or on a run with all the the, the bikers before the funeral it, it's really just superb on the road various people come to funerals of motorcyclists uh, not just motorcyclists, a lot of the family, etc., aren't uh, bikers in any way, and they, they still love it because they know that that's what that person would have wanted. And another thing that I do enjoy is that you, you'll arrive at the family home and people are obviously upset. And by the time you get to the cemetery, you, sometimes you think they've just come out of a party because they, they've been coming down the road in the limousine and they're telling each other stories because they're remembering. Do you remember when he had that AGS, or do you remember when he had the, the Triumph, or whatever bike it was? And they're talking and talking. And while the sadness is there because they've lost someone, equally, they've got something to help them get through it. So it's not belittling it or making light of it. It's helping them make a bad day good. 